Dark Surface is not real. It is a myth invented by the Chinese. <laughs> Good evening, viewers. It is the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Here I am to review the latest film, The Great Wall, which stars Matt Damon and some other illegal little snug bag as a Western traders going to China to to trade for. Uh, excuse me. They're they're trading for black powder, but then they get wrapped up in this whole war about against these with these Chinese. Dudes who are trying to defend their great wall against the t these li evil lizard things called the Tao Te. Just like how my wall will defend America from Mexican illegals, even though it would be a complete waste of time, resources, and money. Okay, Trump jokes aside for a second. I looked at the trailer, and you know what? I had very mixed anticipations for the Great Wall. Like, you know, I love history. I love ancient Chinese history. I love Matt Damon. I love good fantasy, historical epics, but I, just from the trailer, I'm like, oh, this looks stiff. Like, I don't know, does, it seems like Matt Damon's just phoning it in because, you know, he's Matt Damon, and he's just like, yeah, I'll be in this movie. Now that I've seen the movie, it turns out my feelings of this movie mac, like, match my expectations for this movie. I'm very mixed on this one, guys. Okay, the special effects are fine. And so is, like, all the technical work. That, that stuff's all great, too. And so is the setup. Like, the opening action scene is probably the best part about the movie. Like, with all the, the evil lizard, like, the Tao Te, the, when they're all, like, charging at the wall, and, you know, they're fighting and shooting arrows and all that stuff, and Matt Damon's, like, proving his worth. Like, that, that stuff, like, you know, the fight scenes, yeah, it, it's sort of, the fight scenes, they get less and less investing as the movie goes on. But the opening fight scene is definitely the best part about it. And the, char the characters, though. <sighs> oh, look, before all you SJWs start, like, ranting in the comment section, this movie actually isn't whitewashed. Like, Matt Damon and his friends in this movie, they're, all f they're actually from Europe. They've come to China to trade with them for black powder, or what we know as gunpowder. And all the people in this movie who... Or all the characters who are Chinese are played by Asian actors. So no, this movie is not whitewashed. But that does not excuse the characters from being uninteresting. And part of it, you know, I don't entirely blame the acting for the most part. Because I, I, I guess it's sort of on the writing. Because, again, the writing, it's very stiff. I just... I don't really get the whole need for the like, European traders to come to China. Why can't every character in this movie just be Chinese? I feel like they make it a lot more like investing and a lot more intriguing. But like, meh, it is what it is. What can I say? Again, the execution. Yes, the setup and the technical work. Again, that's all fine. But like, just the pacing in this movie throughout. There's various times where it goes here, and then it goes here. I think I do a lot of this in my reviews. But like, it, it's just. This movie is no exception when I say the pacing is just like, it's messy. It's all over the place. And I would probably not mind the pacing as much if they had more interesting characters. Like, yeah, Matt Damon, he, he's he been fighting for just, like, money and just for the sake of fighting for his entire life. And now he feels like he feels an obligation towards this whole, like, conflict in China. Just, guys, how have we seen that before a bunch of times? But his friend's like, no, we're here for the gunpowder. We gotta get out of here, grab it, and just run. And there's, and there's just, you know, all this, like, conflict. You know, all these characters, like, none of them work well together. The chemistry, it, it's just not there. Oh, no, guys, that basically sums up The Great Wall in a nutshell. Like, this movie, again, its technical work is fine. And its opening battle scene is great. But the battle scene's, like... Throughout the film, they become less and less investing, and the characters just weren't there for me. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably the most overdone rating I've been giving films this year so far, but The Great Wall gets a 5 out of 10 stars. It's a meh film. Alright, tell me viewers. <laughs> you know, just from seeing the trailer, I'm just like, oh my god, this has, this has Trump's name written all over it. Tell me, who is your favorite U.S. president? Oh, actually, no, no, no. Let's not start a political debate in the comments. What is your favorite historical epic slash fantasy film? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a rating where you feel it deserves. My name is TVB9. I'll see you guys at the White House.